This week, we're heading to medieval England for two texts that, like 1001 Nights, are frame tales. To start with, we have two tales from a collection called The Lays of Marie de France. Not much is known about Marie except her name and, as she tells us, that she is from France. Although she was likely born there, she probably lived in Norman England as part of the court of Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine. In England at this time, after the conquest of William I, the language of the nobility would have been French, and it was in this language that Marie composed her lays. The 12th century saw a rise of vernacular literature, literature of the people, rather than Latin literature, and many writers drew on the tradition of minstrel stories, called lays, that originated the traditional Celtic story. The lays were part of the tradition of romances, tales that dealt with courtly life rather than the love stories we might think of. These stories focused on knighthood, battle, adventure, pure love, and honor. Many told of the adventures of the mythical King Arthur and his knights, and emphasized the ideals of chivalry or the knightly code of conduct. One facet of this was courtly love, a pure love from afar that was usually not physically consummated. It was dramatic, secret, difficult, and often outside of marriage, which was a practical and not a romantic matter. Marie herself was well-educated, suggesting that she was either a noblewoman or a nun, the only people who would have received a formal education at that time. She translated fables from Anglo-Saxon and St. Lives from Latin, in addition to her Breton lays and original poetry. Geoffrey Chaucer was writing about 200 years later, and his life and success exemplified the changes that occurred in English society during this time. Chaucer was born in the merchant class, a group that was becoming more and more influential during this time. As a young man, Chaucer was a low-level public servant before going to fight in the Hundred Years' War, where he was captured and ransomed back with the help of Edward III. After this, he was made a diplomat, a career that allowed him to travel and study the poets of Italy and inspired his own burgeoning writing career. Chaucer's work often satirized the politics and society of the day. Our text for this week, The Canterbury Tales, uses the conceit of a group of pilgrims traveling to the holy site of Canterbury Cathedral where Thomas a Becket had been martyred during the reign of Henry II. In it, Chaucer explores and critiques all level of society, including the wealthy nobility, the corrupted clergy, the working merchants, and the servants who traveled with them. Chaucer himself is featured as a fellow traveler. The story that we'll be focusing on is The Wife of Bath, which draws on the tradition of chivalry and courtly love that we see in Marie de France's lays. As you read this week, consider what these texts are saying about the progression of English society from the 12th to the 14th centuries. What ideas or values do the texts share? Where do they diverge? As always, you have your discussion board and reading journal, which is due in two weeks' time, so make sure you're caught up on that. Also, you need to send your draft of your essay to your tutor this week, or a peer, so plan accordingly. Let me know if you have questions, and enjoy your break.